Hey there, if you're in tech sales, this video is for you. It's another of my tech sales tips that I share based on my 30 plus years of experience selling technology uh, and also having had the privilege of teaching and coaching the sales teams for some of the biggest tech companies all over the world. Um, now this week I want to talk about something that I learned from working with Citrix many years ago uh, with regards to closing uh, and suggest that you could literally close every customer meeting that you ever have. Now it sounds a bit of a bold statement, but to understand that you've got to understand the definition of the close. So I'm not talking about the sort of stuff you see on YouTube, you know, those hard closing strategies, you know, sell anything to anybody, anytime, all that sort of stuff. No, I'm talking about professional value-based selling here of technology solutions. So if we redefine what we mean by the close, we can get a close in every meeting that we potentially have. Now, as I said, something I learned from Citrix, and what Citrix had was a very defined sales process. So it was really obvious what the next step in that process was. And you should have that as well. I call it in my Tech Sales Accelerator class, your revenue roadmap, that roadmap to revenue, to that final close. And it's, um, it's important you have that because that makes selling so much easier because you don't have to kind of focus on the big picture. All you've got to do is just move your prospects to the next stage. So every customer engagement that you have, all you need to do is get them to close to the next thing. If you have an initial cold call, for example, with somebody, you've just got to close them on, maybe agreeing to have a discovery call with you. If you're having a discovery call, then if your next step was a demo, you've just got to get them to close to agree to have a demo with you. If you've done the demo and the next stage in your process will be do some kind of network audit on their infrastructure perhaps, then the objective for that demo is to close them on the audit. And when your process is defined as clearly as that, it takes a lot of the pressure, it takes a lot of the confusion out of selling, and it makes it a lot easier because you've just got one objective. You know exactly what you need to do. No, all right, maybe they don't agree with that at that time, but you don't move on, you don't do anything until you've got that closed, that agreement to the next stage, and you just, work your way through the process and it becomes much more systematic. It also means that you can uh, modify and optimize your behavior at each of those stages and get better and better at closing to that objective than kind of getting confused and, and overwhelmed with the whole sales process. It will also help you with forecasting because you know exactly where you are in that process and as you move through each of those steps you're getting nearer and nearer to uh, you know the, the money uh, close uh, and therefore your win probability is improving, et cetera, et cetera. So, so define, as I said, what I call a revenue roadmap, those steps, you know, common steps that you would uh, need to take to take your prospect on that journey to buying from you. And then just focus on the very next step, just that that being your close. And when you do that, as I said, it gets much easier and you will typically get significantly more closes as part of that sales process. So a different way perhaps to think about your, the whole sales engagement. And um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post them in the comments below or reach out to me personally. And uh, I hope you've found that useful and it's got you thinking about uh, how you may improve your sales performance and increase your close win rate uh, when you, as I said, redefine what actually a close looks like. So I'm Brian Conway. Thanks for your time today. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.